Trick or treat, trick or treat, trick or treat for Halloween. Better give a treat that's good to eat if you want to keep life serene. Hello darlings, it's Tess. Welcome back to another day of Loggaween, la la la, etc. So, I realized only about 20 minutes ago how much I have been neglecting my witchcraft practice this October. Like, last year I, like, I was doing Sawan Oracle cards every day and, like, just, like, j j remembering to do that mainly and then also doing grimoire work. Um, and keeping track of everything to the point it was enough that I realized Bridget was reaching out to me through my oracles. So now, this time, I've just been so focused on Vlogoween and on my friends, which is obviously a good thing to be distracted by, um, that my energy for Sarwin and all of that has just been like, ah! So. What I'm gonna do, I'm out here because our table that we have out here, like an antique table, um, on this little bit with a painting above it, <clears throat> I take over that, <laughs> sorry mom, um, as my uh, Sarwin altar table because the seasonal altar in my room that I usually have for the Sabbaths is just too small. Sawan altar needs to be, you know, it needs to be a big deal. So I always bring everything out and I'm trying with some really different ideas this year. And so um, I'm just gonna bring some stuff out. I'll show you guys that. Um, and it's not gonna be finished until, no, there's still stuff that, um, that I'm gonna wanna do, I'm sure. So, um, uh, let me get that stuff out from my room and then we'll uh, go through what's up. So I think I got most of that. So I've got the items out now. Um, and there are some new things here. I have not used this statue before. I have not had this antler before because I got it this year. Um, that's another antique we have, I'm using it. Um, that is from the Medieval Fair. It is Sleeping Potion. Uh, this is my... Um, Oh God, what's the term? Um, my, oh help, I can't think of it. Um, but this is an um, antique, one of those <laughs> dispenser, I can't remember, um, that mum got for me. And then of course we have Bridget right here. Um, and then all the other stuff isn't arranged yet. And I definitely want to put something in the back to cover up the blank wall because you know me, white space just, no, 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 does not exist, don't want it to. Okay, so now that you've seen this, I'm gonna do um, a Sawan Oracle card reading, see what's up, and uh, when it's done, um, this stand here is for whatever card that I just pulled, so I can like see it and be reminded of it. Okay, I will move away the pile of grimoires to make room for the Taro and Oracle. There we go. Favourite deck, reviewed it last year. 
favorite deck for Sarwin. Maybe in the future when I have more money I can have like more of <laughs> Um, you know, Sarwin Oracle, Beltane Oracle, whatever, for the other Sabbaths, but this one is, is just amazing. Something told me to buy it, and then I had just the most amazing experience with it. As you guys know, if you watched um, and have heard me talk about uh, things last year. So, I am the world's worst shuffler. Yay. Uh, uh, this one. Mischief. Keep your eyelids open and sight sharp as nails, for there is something trailing behind your tail. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look and see what that means. All right. Key words. Clever, naughty. Mmm. <laughs> Sarwin isn't just about dark energy, loved ones who have passed, and things that go bump, to, bump in the night. There is a fun, playful aspect to Sarwin as well. A bit of naughtiness and a bit of cunning. There is an element of mischief to the night of Sarwin. Trick or treating isn't just about candy. The trick comes from an ancient Sarwan tradition when villagers would disguise themselves in animal skins to scare away the demons, ghouls, and goblins that were free to roam the earth for one night every year, often playing cruel tricks on humans. We humans are clever though and have found a way to keep the goblins at bay. Pulling mischief can mean a need to adopt a smarter approach to your situation. You may need to get creative to get what you want. Woo! You may even have to play a trick or two to get the outcome you desire. Be open-minded about how you overcome your challenges if possible. Approach your situation with a bit of fun. Problems are serious, but that doesn't mean a bit of si silliness can't help you see it in a new way. Well, Vlogoween and everything to do with Halloween and everything that I've been doing pretty much is related to having fun and just kind of the therapy of that. So, um, wow. Bridget, you've done it again. Reading me to filth. I always search through my, um, old and new or old and current grimoires around this time of year just to see, like, where my head has been in the past and how I can move forward in my practice and um, just be the best witch that I can be. Um, so I think you guys have seen this page, which is kind of more of a Halloween sort of playful page than a Sawan page, but I still really love it. Um, I have a spell to heal grief. Um, which is good. Uh, Sarwin spell for creative flow. <laughs> Maybe I should do this one. Um, and then this is one of my favorite sort of simple spreads. My spreads can be very um, complex, but I just like the uh, uh, Sarwin apple, which we know has the correspondence and how it just pulls into the other shades. I just, I really like this one. Um, and then I did uh, pages on Two dark goddesses being Persephone, which you can see here, Persephone, and then um, an invocation to her. And then on the next page, we have Hikati, another dark goddess. I wrote down her correspondences and got some art of her to decorate. And there's an invocation for her as well on the other page. So um, again, this is quite minimalist. I feel like it would be what Wednesday Adams would put in her grimoire or something. But um, I very much um, appreciate all that. Um, Sarwin Correspondences. I did these with my um, Llewellyn's book of correspondences last year. 
um, because I'd written down a few correspondences before, but not that many. Um, this was a sort of fun Sarwin page, Sarwin but make it fun. Um, I've put flap flap on the back, which I just, that's really fun to me, sorry. This is also a Sarwin work based on this rebirth tag from Molly Roberts. And this is actually a marble balloon that I had blown up and then took it down and just saved it because it looks so cool. And then this is uh, stuff from my sticker collections. This was a little entry about Sarwin feeling weird that year. And I think it's funny that I um, said that and then ended up having the most insane Sarwin ever e.g. like with all of these crazy repeated cards and what they were teaching me and everything like that like it was just it was pretty insane you can see here candle magic what the fuck because it was like the fourth time I got it um, and then it ended up saying the fucking veil pumpkin repeat and then the fucking veil again like it was just it's stupid it was like ridiculous um so this is another repeated card that's a molly roberts tag and this is the pad that i use to take off my makeup on the 31st of october i like to do this sometimes in my journals i like imprint my eye onto the pad and like have it serve as a memory of what I was wearing and then here this is the Sarwin season reflection and as you can see it starts with well shit um yep Bridget has been reaching out I asked for her presence tried the moving candle flame too happy fucking new year so, yeah, there's that. <laughs> and this is another just fun Halloween one. All right, I feel kind of more connected to my magic right now. So I've now that I've just kind of opened this up and the side of it, the side of the Oracle cards is going to make me remember to pull one every day. Um, so that's good and um, I'm gonna try and definitely um, like uh, oh my god I can't think of words today um, uh, try and um, put together combine bloody hell um, to combine my um, magical practices with my vlogween content like um, I celebrate both kind of fun, bright coloured Halloween, which obviously you guys have seen, um, but I also very much respect the traditional witchy aesthetic, but also the respect of Sarwin. Um, and so as we go along for Vlogoween, I would love to move into, like a little bit, obviously not completely, um, move into um, showing you some Sarwin stuff as well. So that was just a little peek just then of my grimoires. I could um, do a more in-depth uh, video at some point about my, um, about my entries. Um, so, uh, that might be fun. Comment if you want that. Um, but I feel good now. Um, if there's something else today that I want to do to sort of bring more witchy energy in, then obviously I'm going to show you that. All right, guys, it is the next day actually now. I was doing all of that witchy stuff kind of pretty quick before Luca came over. And again, this is the Vlogween 2023 drinking game is how many times I mention Luca or you see him. But um, he came over and we were watching House of the Dragon um, because I'm just obsessed with that show apparently. It's just hit me like a screaming train. Um, and um, so I just ended up having fun with him rather than running around doing witchy shit. 
Um, but I'm really glad I did what I did yesterday. And as I said uh, in that um, uh, video just before, I'm definitely going to be working more magic into my days as of now. Like I've kind of remembered how important it is to me because I've been uh, focusing on Vlogoween, which is important too. And then now um, witchcraft is important as well. And I do all of them and they are all important to me. And this is what the glory of October is for. So stick around for more of everything, more Vlogoween. I've got film um, based posts coming up, kind of reviews. Uh, stick around for more magic, of course, like seeing my Sarwin altar. Stick around for the craft. Uh, stick around for whatever ridiculousness I get myself into, basically. So um, give this video a like down below. Um, leave a comment if you're a witch yourself and say if you're excited for Sarwin and what you plan to do. And remember, I love you. Keep going.